Hello guys, today I want to show you how to solve one problem in many-to-many -many or belongs-to-many relationships. That is, if you want to add extra field to the pivot table. I will show you how to do that on a database level, in eloquent model, and also in the form. This is most important probably. So this is our starting position. This is generated by our quick admin panel. So we have recipes and we have ingredients. Recipe belongs to many ingredients and when you create a recipe you may choose many ingredients and then if you save What happens in the database if we refresh there is a recipe soup and then there is a pivot table ingredient recipe So we save three ingredients into recipe ID 1 and in the code This is what again our quick admin panel generates by default we have a select with ingredients as array we also use select to library, JS library to make it more pretty. But from HTML point of view, it's an array. And then in the controller, when storing the data, we store the recipe and then we store ingredients with sync. Eloquent function used for belongs to many. So if we go to recipe, we see ingredients as belongs to many. But in reality, when creating recipes here in the form, you probably want to specify how much of each ingredient is involved in the recipe. So how many grams or kilograms or items or quantity. So let's add that quantity field to the database, to the eloquent model and then to the form. So first we need that field in the database and we do php artisan make migration add amount to ingredient recipe table. And then we should have the migration generated, database migrations, here's our new migration, and we add one field, let it be string, because amount could be in something like grams or kilograms or text, so amount. Then we need to add that in the eloquent model, so for recipe belongs to many, we need to specify with pivot, and then what fields are inside of that pivot table. So we have only one amount. And now we're ready on the database level. Now the form. Create blade will change from just select to checkbox for each ingredient and then input field for each ingredient. So I've prepared that code in the background to save you time. We have a table for each of ingredients. We have a table cell with checkbox with data ID which we will use in a JavaScript to check the event of checking and unchecking. And then we have a text box input with the same data ID for the amount and by default it is disabled. Visually it looks like this. So again we add a recipe, soup for example, and then we can add meat, potato or whatever. And ingredients in the controller come and create ingredient all. Next step is to make them clickable. So whenever you click the amount should be undisabled. And in the create blade we will add a section at the bottom for scripts. So section scripts, it's a jQuery code. You can do it with whatever other JS framework or without framework. It's a pretty simple effect. So whenever the ingredient enable class checkbox is clicked, we get the ID and we enable or disable the text box and set the value. And that section script comes from the main blade file. So that create blade extends layouts admin. And if we go to that admin, at the very bottom, there's yield scripts for whatever custom JavaScript we want. In our case, for quick admin panel generated code, it's jQuery with data tables with quite a lot of JavaScript for that, but we can add more JavaScript in whatever blade we want. So if we refresh the page, we enable and the amount is enabled. If we uncheck, the amount is disabled and not even that, we can add the amount, we uncheck and this should be empty. And now finally, how to save the data. So from the create form, we have ingredients as array, but not only any array, it has the element keys defined by ingredient ID. So it's not just 0, 1, 2, and 3, it has exactly the IDs that we need to sync. So in the controller, instead of just sync request input like this, we need to form the ingredients. And those ingredients will be you may perform a for each operation or some other structure, but I will use eloquent collections. So put the array into collection like this. And then I will use a method from collection called map function ingredient return amount equals ingredient like this. And then we sync ingredients. 
In efficient Laravel documentation, it's this syntax. So we can sync belongs to many with ID and then array of additional fields. That's what we defined in with pivot here. So any field that is described here can be used like this here. So to make sure, I will do DD ingredients and let's see what we have. Our form, let's refresh. Let's add a soup with meat and potatoes, three potatoes and 200 grams of meat. And the result is two items. So ID one with amount 200 grams and ID two with amount three. And this is exactly what we need. So let's delete that DD and let's refresh. And we have an error. Of course, we haven't run the migrations. PHP artisan migrate. That's a typical error I make in a lot of my videos for getting to run migrations. Okay, so two recipes were saved without ingredients. And here we have with ingredients. And let's check the database if it was saved correctly. We refresh and as you can see the amount is present. So this is how you can transform the simple pivot table with multiple select to a form with checkboxes and syncing extra values. I've described that in more details in a blog article for our quick admin panel, also describing the edit and update, some more refactoring needed. So it's all detailed here with the code so you can copy from here I will link that article in the description of this video. And generally, I suggest you use our quick admin panel to generate code. And by doing this, you support this channel. And then the more money quick admin panel makes, the more time I personally have to shoot free videos like this one. See you guys in other videos.